What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, what is this? <laughs> huh, look at that. Some watermelons, a loaded tube shotgun, just waiting on old Bob. I am glad you all are here. That felt wonderful. Welcome back to another one. Yes, it's a gun video, and yes, we're giving something away, like I said on every one of these gun videos. Boy, howdy. Really did some work on that guy. Check that out. Look at all the shot, the lead shot in that watermelon. You wait till Fred finds this mess. He's gonna have a heyday. Oh. GoPro survived. A little sticky icky. So, today, one of the most asked questions, I get asked this question, I honestly don't know how many times, a day, a week, a month, especially during season is, what if you accidentally put a three and a half inch shell in a three inch chambered gun? Look at the size difference on that chamber right there. That's the main reason. So fortunately, but unfortunately, uh, I made this accident probably two to three times this season. And it was my own fault because in my blind bag, I had three inch steel shot and I had three and a half inch steel shot kind of laying around. And I would be busy and just reach in there, grab something, slam it in, and this would happen. What we're gonna get into. So, this video, first and foremost, is a safety tip video. I feel confident in shooting this gun. If I did not, I would have it on a vise, on a board, like we're gonna get into on some of the upcoming videos because they're gonna get a little hairy. But before we get going, duckswaterfowl.com. We are doing a 50% off everything, entire site wide, yes. This entire week, Monday through Sunday. Don't miss it, after Sunday she's gone. 50% off for a whole week, guys. Duck's Waterfowl is always linked down below. Go check it out while this sale lasts. Alrighty, gun of choice today is gonna be my Franke Affinity 3. Now, y'all know that I have this three inch Affinity, I have the 3.5 Affinity, and y'all know I love to rock my Super Black Eagle, that's three and a half, as well as the new Stoger M3500, which is a three and a half inch gun too. But we've been using it so much lately that I was like, you know what, let's throw it back. I don't think that uh, this will hurt my Franke at all. This is my beloved Franke. Y'all have seen this gun. This gun, honestly, created the channel. Hands down. Day one. And she's still chugging, so we're gonna use her today. If you guys miss these videos and want more right now, please smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video well over a thousand likes. I would appreciate it. Help your boy out. It's summertime, and these are the videos that I wanna do. Uh, these bad boys, we are gonna be using these. I'm thinking about doing a 410 shotgun test video and using the other watermelons. So let me know if you guys wanna see that too. I just got back from hog hunting in Texas. I'm trying to re-gear and understand that we don't have hogs here in Kansas, so trying to get it uh, out, of, out of me a little bit because I wanna hog hunt more and more and more. All of you that have watched that video, boy howdy. If you haven't watched the hog hunting video that I posted before this one, you have to. It was amazing, but let's get into it. Now guys, we as duck hunters, first thing where I made my mistake was, again, my blind bag was a mess and I didn't have all my shells organized. You know what I mean? As duck hunters, I believe we are some of the messiest hunters in the industry, pretty much. We're not as organized as most deer hunters. And the reason why is because as duck hunters, we have a lot of junk. In our blind bags, we have nothing but calls, headlamps, gloves, different shells, chokes, gun oils, different chokes. You get the hint, right? Always buying some. That's why us duck hunters are usually always broke. But <laughs> one thing is safety guys and trying to stay a little more organized. This season, like I had mentioned, I made a mistake probably twice that I remember and it didn't cost me in my safety or anything or my health, 
but it did cost me on that volley of birds because what happened I forgot that it was snow goose hunting actually so I had my Franke here and I'm just so used to having my Benelli now that shoots three and a half inch shells that I just racked it in there see that with with the way that that three and a half inch went into this three inch chamber honestly if if you're just grabbing shells oh but that's the issue look uh-oh see that's the problem right there there she goes okay that's the issue um it'll shoot it'll go bang i don't think structurally uh the integrity of the gun uh really matters um most guns are all built the same three and a half is obviously a little bit beefier gun but the problem is is that the chamber is not fit for that extra half inch length and it will not eject properly let's test it out Woo! all right that's what i'm talking about shoots just fine but this is when it gets hairy and usually but usually you'll need a pocket knife or pliers to get it out which i'm going to need one so got to go find that all right found me a flathead this is uh the issue when you're in the field a lot of us don't have toolboxes with us and bring pliers or screwdrivers you know what i mean so first and foremost it's gonna get lodged in there and uh that wasn't too bad getting it out but i've had them in there during the season when i did make that mistake i was screwed for a little bit so pay attention to what you're putting in your gun um now obviously if you buy a three and a half inch chambered gun you don't have to worry about this issue the other issue you got to worry about with a three and a half is shooting two and three quarters out of it and it's cycling because a lot of times two and three quarters just isn't enough umph for that three and a half inch uh, bolt to go back and spit it out but that's in another video uh just for poops and gigs we're gonna try it one more time you know me i'm i'm not a one timer we gotta really let's do that so i loaded one in the bottom one in the tube and i'm gonna load one up top so let's see if she'll cycle it'd be a miracle if it did no way no sir again she's ooh, she's really in there she's really in there boys okay there we go so it's not about honestly the integrity of the gun uh these shotguns are meant to handle really hot loads and so i have a lot of faith in that but boys it ain't gonna cycle it is not gonna cycle right and Technically, it is very unsafe because you're using the gun for what it is not built to do. So, just a little tip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have anything to add to this, or maybe a video that is like this one, drop a comment down below and let me know because I want to do it. I want to talk about it. I need your guys' help. Almost forgot. We still have a three and a half in the bottom of this gun. So this is, ooh, that might be a really bad deal so that's the other part of it getting them up out of the tube into your gun seems to be a much greater issue than getting the empty shell out of your gun come on baby it's really lodged in there that ain't good bob you done messed it all up now what are you doing with your life out here trying to make a YouTube video and just completely come on come on messing my stuff up that's what I'm doing okay okay we got one in the chamber boys we're just gonna go ahead and shoot one of these darn watermelons and watch it explode how about that and then we'll get into the giveaway three and a half inch shell meets watermelon
That was awesome. Wow. Oh, <laughs> nothing left of the thing. Oh, look at the GoPro. Look at the GoPro. <laughs> that was cool. We're gonna have to start doing more stuff, more videos with watermelon. Oh yeah. Maybe just anything that blows up when it's shot. On the giveaway, I gotta make it a little easier this time because last time we did this giveaway, I gave away five dozen decoys. And needless to say, y'all probably know where I'm going with this. It cost me a lot of money in shipping. So we're gonna tame it down just a little bit on this one. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna give away a three pack hat. So a duck's hat, a buck's hat, and a sandhill flyaway hat. How about that? All three hats, one lucky winner. All you have to do is drop a comment down below and say anything, literally anything. But it'd be nice if you were like, hey Bob, I think you should do this video, or I think you should do this, or basically just give me some tips of your own. I appreciate it on all of these Mythbuster type videos. I told y'all we're gonna keep giving something away on them. And I hope that you guys appreciate it. We're also gonna keep these videos straight to the point and no BS. So we can keep the length of video down because a lot of you guys wanna come here and you wanna see what the video is about and not watch me jibber jabber too much. That's why I'm gonna shut up. Do not forget the 50% sale this week, this week only over at duckswaterfowl.com as well as buckshunting.com is also doing a 50% sale site-wide this entire week through Monday. Don't miss it y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Subscribe if you have it. Remember, Turn on that notification bell. I haven't said that in a very, very long time. Turn on the notification bell because I'm gonna be putting my best foot forward trying to bring you guys videos that you wanna see. Thank you all, but until next time.